Hello everybody, my name is Vincent and I'm introducing myself. I'm engineer at Decathlon from nine years and currently I'm the product owner of uh, Terraform Enterprise. We administrate the solution with two co-workers and have a level two engineer dedicated to support. We will speak about uh, Decathlon context, our current usage of cloud providers and uh, the migration to uh, public cloud. In a second time, uh, why we choose uh, Terraform, the reasons, the cons of the previous solution and the pros of the usage of Terraform uh, for Decathlon. In the third part, our usage of Terraform for Decathlon developers. And finally, I will speak about the key indicators of the presentation. Now, regarding the Decathlon context, <coughs> we start our journey with cloud a few years ago. We began with AWS and Terraform open source. During this time, as other companies, some resources was, were hosted on uh, on-premise and on the cloud. Historically, we have many owned on-premise data centers in Europe and Asia to host our solutions. In uh, 2018, a big project was launched to host 100% of our infrastructure in the cloud. And this project was called the Food Cloud Project. To reach this target, we use additional CSP as GCP and Azure to perform this big step to our digital transformation. We use it in different locations, such as uh, Europe, Singapore, China and United States. We switch ASEAN data centers on premise to Azure and AWS China in uh, 2020. And in 2021, we switch the European data centers on premise to, to GCP and AWS. Today, we are proud to announce that 100% of our solutions are hosted on the public cloud. In addition to AWS, GCP, and Azure, we are implementing Ali Cloud. Yandex will come in a second time. Now, we will see why Terraform. The situation before Terraform Enterprise implementing, we used a web interface and deployment tooling. It was a custom interface developed in PHP and Symfony uh, workspace. Uh, uh, framework, sorry, to provision a virtual machine on the cloud or on-premise. For AWS, we use CloudFormation and for on-premise, a non-baked tool. It was a good deal at this time. It allowed to our user to provision new, resource, new resources on the cloud. But after the provisioning, the user was in charge to complete change orders to register the new resources in Decathlon ecosystem. Here, you will see some cons regarding the old solutions. For technical teams, it was a rush to deliver a virtual machine at time uh, without forgetting that manual actions are source of errors. And with those old solutions, when users want to upgrade the compute, the new change order was asked. The user was not autonomous to perform changes. Today, it's, a, it's, a, it's, it's a very simple for us. And finally, the last drawback, it was to maintain multi-solutions for operational team to use and maintain two different tools. And regarding this situation, I asked some feedbacks regarding uh, our leader. And the first cons was the maintenance and the support. They was not autonomous to update infrastructure and the, and, uh, the automatic removing uh, was not possible. Regarding our ops engineer feedback, uh, the human mistakes due to the usage of uh, forms and uh, just the compute was covered. After those feedback, I will speak about the promises of Terraform Enterprise implementation and the pros. The promises were for us 
enabling self-service infrastructure deployment for over 500 developers, accelerating delivery of new products and customers' experience across brands, and finally, integrating core systems into a single infrastructure as code solutions. And the pros was states and the possibilities to, to perform a rollback, more possibilities to perform DRP, friendly web interface for non-developers users, and finally, all the cons of the old solutions become advantage with Terraform Enterprise. And it's confirmed by our user feedbacks regarding the pro of Terraform Enterprise. For us, there was autonomous to, uh, for, from provisioning to removing. It's easy to update infrastructure thanks to Terraform Stacks. And for Ops Engineer, uh, the user autonomy in case of error and more possibilities offered by TFE as S4, load balancer, etc. And now we can assume that we have a standard infra as code solution and add the benefits of HashiCorp support and the community help. And now we will see the main added value of the usage of Terraform Enterprise. Moreover, Terraform allows us to incorporate more automated infrastructure deployment processes, turning the IT team's focus from operational tasks to development-oriented work, and it's more efficient and effective way to manage work across disparate teams and brands. Unlike the company previous ticket-based infrastructure deployment system, Terraform is cloud agnostic. It enables individual brands' development teams to provision their own resources faster than ever by reusing encrypted access control code variables that dynamically change to scale resources across any cloud environment. Uh, I have other feedbacks uh, regarding the usage, the adoption of Terraform Enterprise. Terraform allows us to automatically rebuild our infrastructure in a completely new way that ensures our testing, staging, and production environment are well aligned the second feedback from operational engineer. He says each team can develop their own Terraform modules and share them across teams for better collaboration, greater transparency, and faster deployment of essential resources of every brand in every market. We know that Terraform Enterprise has been vital for the company and help us to accelerate its infrastructure deployment by automating operational tasks that such as uh, workspace backups. Additionally, the workflow allows for code reviews and approval workflow to minimize the impact of error that may delay deployment. For, for us, it's a big change for the daily activity teams Terraform workspaces enable Decathlon developers to work across cloud providers, teams, and environment without a single pane of glass, and leverage the solutions, built-in version control, system to automatically validate configuration changes for greater accuracy, fewer mistakes, and faster deployment. And uh, globally, we can uh, assume that these are examples of all Terraform features, such as built-in automation, VCS, teams management, allowed IT teams to focus on business-related work. Regarding <coughs> the Terraform adoption in Decathlon, we can say about that that in order to help to grow our knowledge on the solution, on Terraform and Terraform Enterprise, we propose to our users, our developers, some trainings the training was uh, open for internal and external resources, and all teams were involved to perform those courses. The basic course helps to install, to use 
Terraform open source. The advanced course help our IT users to build resources, work on Terraform modules, and use Terraform ent Enterprise in Decathlon context. And regarding our context, uh, we, can, uh, we, we, we can talk about our all-in-one module. The all-in-one module is our module deployment stack to integrate resources in Decathlon ecosystem. We use custom provider or in-house provider to do this stuff. I have an example. When a user needs to uh, build something, for example, on GCP, the user takes the all-in-one all version, declares the, variable, the variables to uh, target the cloud providers, and the resource will be registered in e ecosystem, like the configuration management, the GNS, the bastion, anti-malware, the asset management, or the monitoring solutions. We use the in-house providers because our API are not published. Those providers are developed by internal resources. We use SVCS GitHub, and uh, we can note that we have two, 2,400 workspaces split in different organizations. To conclude on this point, we try to manage the complexity by Terraform administrators to provide more simplicity to our users. For advanced users, it's possible to share module to benefit all the people in Decathlon. And I have some example. GCP, GKE cluster, cloud storages, RDS, Cloud SQL, load balancer. Now, in this slide, I will speak shortly regarding our project for 2022. We wish to implement the Active Active module to increase the availability of Terraform Enterprise for our users. And we wish to use the private, uh, the private provider registry to ease access to our in-house providers not published externally. For the last part, I want to focus on main added value for Decathlon users. Regarding Decathlon achievements, we can note that we have 100% of our infrastructure host in public cloud. We increased the security level of the company and we reduced the time to market. And for our users, we provide a friendly uh, web interface for non-developers people. We minimize the code error and re reduce the deployment delay. And we provide a catalog that covers the main needs and our most experienced users participate in this offer. It's the end and I want to thank you. Goodbye. <laughs>